Welcome back to Faldrin. Today we are gonna be heading into a game of Survival Chaos. We are gonna be up against Bukovkov, GD, and No Mercy. So, I want to ask you, lovely viewers, is there any kind of race, bonus, or challenge you guys love to see? Then please let me know ASAP because if we can do it in this match, then I will happily do it. So, Give me your craziest ideas. If we're gonna suffer, we suffer, but we are in it for the fun of it. And we're gonna try and make a strategy work as well as we possibly can. And if we lose, we lose. But it's all for fun and games. If you would like to see us in a live battle, and you're not doing that because you're only watching on YouTube. Which is not a bad thing, <laughs> it's our main audience is on there. But if you want to see us live, then join us on Kick. Kick.com slash Faldrian11. That should work, that should work. Also, if you got some really nice ideas for shorts and stuff like that, then please let me know in the chat message, a comment or on our uh, Discord. Um, so we're playing with demons, so I have to go for free, right? So we can go Archimond, the special unit replacement. We can go for the Wind Funnels. Could be fun. It's a little bit of powered. It would be a fun one. Maybe the strongest one is actually Spell Damage Resistance or Fell Beast. But we could also try something completely different. Like Anti Hero. So, yeah, guys, pick between Archimond, Wind Funnels, or Anti Hero. That are the picks you guys against have, as proposed by our biggest fan, Antihero. Could be fun. Would be really fun if we could instantly smite uh, a Illidan, something like that. When Furnals, Antihero. Yeah, I don't mind the folk to be focused. The open demons give extra attack rate and reduce armor. It's very powerful against heroes. I just melt through anything here. It's a very powerful open lead. And did we see a middle mine nearby? No, we didn't. So no requests coming in. Anti-hero came up first, so let's go anti-hero. Could be fun. Loss and hero. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty powerful. Very scary indeed. It's actually as powerful as this one, right? We also got nine armor reduction heroes with this anti hero. And that's only for heroes. The orb also affects every unit in the game. Let's kill the beautiful acolytes here. So GD might be going hard on sightings if he uh, decides to go for dragon spamming. But I feel like we should be fine by the game against him. We're not seeing red rich traps here, that's uh, surprising. I bet he's playing with the tier 2 unit replacement, one of the battle, uh, the ogres. Battle master. Please. That's what someone would expect, right? This is full... Uselessness. No Mercy did not upgrade against me. Good to know, good to know. We went for GD. So yeah, what do you guys want to see for an ultimate weapon? Sadly, we do not have sticks in here. We could be bringing up poles. So, just suggest the ultimate weapon you guys want to see. We can try to make it work. Hey there, so then, we are playing with Antihero because our lovely fans doomed us to play with Antihero. I want to go for Archimond, but yeah, they didn't care, they didn't care. <laughs> That's gonna be fun, it's gonna be fun. We did not play with the Antihero too often, so I'm happy to test it out. Naga, cash the control middle lane, the Crusades will probably upgrade here next. <clears throat> so... We could be going middle lane, but then the Naga will just simply control it, beat up my armies quickly. 
So I think the best way to go here for us is to go for the early uh, capture of the neutral buildings and then later on, while we have a few upgrades, go for the middle. Oh my god, he got two, two, two buildings and level two fortifications! How the hell is that even possible? How the hell does he have that much gold? That's totally unbelievable. Oh, he's playing with Templars, by the way. Okay, okay, he's gonna be very tough on late game if he has level 4 defense. <laughs> he might even struggle to win this lane fight with... Despite the fact that we have more unit upgrades. But those Templars are just really strong early on. Yeah, I don't know still then. But I guess people love to see me suffer. Mana burn or mana suck. Oh, was the Dark Oath capturing it? Could be, maybe we're just going crazy here. We, yeah, we just came out of work. It was over 30 degrees. So I'm all sweaty. Very hot. <sighs> Bit tight because of that. I just put no mate to sleep. So maybe I'm not as focused as should be. It's going for us here, but once we have the magic upgrade, we will hopefully stay in control here, especially controlling the fortune gun be great for my units. Yeah, it would be great if we could actually keep our mages alive here, get the healing spell up, then we might be able to win it. But I'm not counting on it. <coughs> Still think he will beat me up, but he's not going for the unit upgrades just yet. He probably is going for that tier 2 barracks. And then we will stay in control. Yeah, he had to go tier 2 middle lane. So this wave is ours. Right, so we did put a stop to his possible counter-attack. Yeah, he could be tier 1 top. Could be. I think this is the time to upgrade the middle lane. Before the Naga, the snake becomes too powerful here. Again. Let's go! Now we'll continue with the Demon Steel weaponry. I would love to have a very powerful army. We might not even focus that much on our heroes yet. This is gonna be good for the late game, obviously. But I think we can perform well with our army strength. We can go for early Tigandrius middle lane. Try the battle masters. Predictable, predictable. Is he still tier 1 middle lane? We got a lot of gold for defending the wave. Oh yeah, he went for two fortifications. So yeah, his base can take a beating, but it's always risky getting the defense up first. Ah, he's still in the lane. Might be killing my army deck quickly enough. Still below low on mana, which was to be expected. If we can keep the Diabolus alive here, we might be doing the same to the Naga as we did to the Crusaders. Then we might be halting his army here and go for the counter attack. But I think his force is just a little bit too big. So they should be incoming. Go yeah, we're gonna go for one more armor, then probably fortification so that we have DK Aura before this wave will attack us. We should perform well middle lane. We should perform well here as well because he's still quite low on uh, unit upgrades. I'd rather not lose any momentum. But look at the Dark Horde man, if he's gonna be spamming dragons soon, he's gonna be a pain in the ass. And the reason why I'm not really interested in Saigon's middle lane is because we might be seeing the crush here together with dragon spamming. Which would not be fun to deal with. Oh boy, that Diablis really wants to fall, that's really unlucky for us. He's getting close to unit upgrades. He does have more units, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I think we can regain possession there quickly enough. Let's get this armor up ASAP. We feel before he attacks us. Yeah, that's definitely the crush. Oh, lovely stuff. Will he push through quickly? I don't think he will. We could definitely try to attempt to control him in the lane with Tigonius in tier 3. He might not even be going for dragons and all, but he will probably do it if someone else sends hero. 
At least he's killing the Crusades first, so that means we will be getting some kills from taking the Filthy Snakes down. I like that. <coughs> Look at this, we are building up a nice little line with our Diabolists again. So yeah, we're gonna be good here. 40 seconds. I think they will pop up at a rather fortunate time before us. Yeah, maybe second too late. This wave is gonna be coming at the night time. We shoot them down. It might take a few more hits, but as the demons, you do not want to buy extra units. You, you're after us swimming in the gold as the demons. So you, you can do it if the wave is really scary. But it's gonna be fine before anyone can even unlock a nuke. I think I will not push through here yet. Look good over there. We are gonna be ignoring the dimensional portals for now because that will not really empower my army. What the level 2 Chaos Citadel, probably Rain of Fell, tier 3 barracks. Enemies might try to count us with a hero, but if we had just have the extra diablist with each wave, it's 250 damage, 175 AoE every way. Which would be amazing. <sighs> so, what are we gonna do, guys? <coughs> Nikras is very annoying here, isn't he? Let's go. Tier 2. What kind of upgrades do you guys normally go for for the demons? I think Foul Blood, Fear Aura, in some cases, the Foul Magic, if you've got Tier 3 Barrack, is amazing as well. I do like the Shadow Step, because it gives some extra protection to your units. Hey there, my sticks. Nice to be seeing you there. If you guys want to see something specific, or you guys want to see us a poll, just let me know or let the sticks know. Fear and the Hero Death one. Yeah, I, I like the Hero Death one. It's probably one of the most powerful upgrades in the game, the Soul Echo. But it's quite expensive. <coughs> Let's get the Soul Echo. And we're not gonna be sending out too many heroes yet, so I guess Fear and Foul Blood might be the way to go. Ian is kinda nice too, if you're not playing as mechanical races. Another hero from the dark one. We got several dragons here. Good for him. Looks like he is slowly winning that fight. Let's come on for blood, and then we might go for the three barracks. Are we paying yet? Nope. But we will be soon, we will be soon. So what do you guys think of the overlays like this? Are they good? Or should we be making some adjustments to the... Or is the audio camera good? Hey the Master Melbu. Always feel free to let me know, I'm always in for improving the quality of our videos. Yep, Tito Magic is gonna be great. So, what would you guys go for? Reconstruction, Vampiric, or Corruption Aura? <coughs> yeah, use the Tito spell here on the eye flies, please. Looks good. I like that. I like the sound of that indeed. Vegeta is getting a lot of gold this game, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Diablo is going for it, but he's burning through them right now. That's shame, man. I would say reconstruction is very nice indeed. And we could also go for the fuck heroes. Get it to upgrade twice and go for hero middle lane. Let's get in few stones first. Get a little bit extra gold. My army is performing quite okay. Everyone likes reconstruction. Instinct. Well, I like the Vampiric for extra arm strength, but Tygons also has it, so it's not always the best option in the game. Nag is struggling against us. Good to know, good to know. Research complete. He's playing with Frost Aura, makes defending a lot easier for the Naga. Research complete. Research complete. So I guess we're gonna go for reconstruction hour then. 
Come on, far blood. A little bit of healing. A shadow step, maybe the Fiara. And once we get a level 4 fortifications, we are gonna keep upgrading. Yeah, I want to go to <coughs> free of one the of the barracks. Oh, we are in control here. We are essentially in control here as well. And if we go to free, they might go for real slow counter-attack with a hero. And oh Jesus, he's on level 6 fortifications. This is setting himself up nice for the late game already. And then they would feed upon us massively, level up a hero easily. So I think going to free on silence right now would be a mistake. I think trying to control the middle lane would be the best possible option that we have. <coughs> but the Dark Lord has an annoying presence. And the ability to send out more dragons is just really scary to me. Let's come on, Fiora. But we can also get this leveled up twice, be able to go for a mini smite. Or we can go for the mini smite here, possibly get the three or the four barracks and mini smite an enemy instantly. And they might not have the gold to counter that. Would that be a little bit too evil? Hmm. <clears throat> Could be a creative move. But that would be 750, 1500, 1500, 3000, 5000 gold. Would be a lot of gold indeed. Could potentially end one of our enemies. Yeah, let's stop the tower upgrades at least. We're gonna be finishing those free. Research. Would be great if Nikos would actually push through the mill lane. Yeah, that's doing lovely stuff uh, here for us. 3-2, we're gonna be on 6-3. He is pushing through. Lovely, lovely stuff. So if we can get take on this indeed. <coughs> we're gonna get some good gold for killing a hero. Let's get the hero upgrade here. Well, anti hero upgrade. To go SP Summit, so he could be swimming in gold. He certainly is, but he also got three hero summons. So, that might undo his hard work a little bit for now, when it comes to gaining a potential lead. We got the two magic, the crusader. That's a bit scary. And yeah, he might be sending another hero middle lane. We can also blast that one if we want to. Is there something you wanted? That could be fun. But we have the means might available. So the big investment here, 2,250 gold will eventually pay off itself. Although it's gonna be the such long game. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think it will be. But you never know. <coughs> you never know. Yeah, he's definitely struggling with our waves. Stop the white main. I think we're fine here. We could smite her. But if we go to 3, we might just be good in middle lane with Tiger Wiz. We should have a strong army there, no mercy. Thank you! <laughs> oh boy. That's 4,000 gold from him. Let's retake the middle lane. We will get free hero kills here. If we want these dragons, we can go for them. They do know my art weapon now. Did he go for not hero middle lane? 
I would consider that insane if he did. Oh! Well, he went there for it twice. He certainly did. It's Nikrash again. Um, so I guess we want Maggie here. We want to for mill lane <coughs> to make sure that Tycons will beat him up really. Nikrash could be getting the hero kill. Very unkind man. Yeah, he certainly will because we are fighting the Naga. <coughs> unlucky, 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 unlucky. Said he's gonna live a little uh, while longer, but not long enough. Not long enough for us. Let's go reconstruction then, guys. <coughs> Let's split them up ASAP. We didn't get the hero kill. That's a shame. Not entirely surprising. But I just simply wish we were able to do it. But of course, Cloud Serpents. Yeah, it sounds like we got an early ember out here in the game. I could be wrong though, man. I come from the darkness of the pit. Maybe we'll struggle a little bit there, there's no shame in that. Tiho, Tiffo mid lane, I guess. And we probably went top then. But soon it sounded like a fire metal getting summoned. A little bit too soon. <laughs> Nagal stiff in middle lane. Yeah. The squad servers are gonna be scary, man. I don't know whether Maggie is gonna be able to survive this, really. Because honestly, it's not looking good. <coughs> Level 4, he will get the Infernal. We should be getting the Exodibilis here to finish off the Gorgons. I guess he's gonna be fine. Thankfully, no reinforcements lost from uh, for Tigandrius. 6464. It's gonna be a hard game against Naga. But then again, if we would just casually send Dalrand and the Necros middle lane and lose the Barracks on the right side, it would be a huge misplay for, from the. Uh, Dark Wood player. <coughs> yeah, yeah, those Cloud Serpents are tough, man. But I'm pretty fine with Maggie just attacking with 1000 health remaining. Just as long as he's getting there. We've got so many heroes in the game already, man. That's crazy. Totally, totally crazy. I think he's gonna be good. Good on the right side as well. 6-6, six, six, he might be going 6-6 six, six soon as well. Look what a pain this guy is, man. Jeez. The aura. Our match would be one. Oh man, he even went tier four. Can we actually counter attack with tier two against tier four? I don't think we can. Let's just go tier three. Rather be safe than sorry. We can casually. Oh no, we cannot mean smite him if he goes for hero. But the guy is playing from rather passive to extremely aggressive, which is nice. I will have to be careful. At least we do not have to be all too concerned about a possible Emblem now phase since we have the anti um, hero. <coughs> really? Oh my god. That's sad news. Nikos staying middle lane, most likely. Because Naga will still get units there. Tiko not doing me any favors. But what's new? He went there for. We literally should be able to defend this DC well. It would be great if we could accidentally destroy a Catapult Tower. Seems like it's good. Nice. 
Nag Aero. Could be middle lane. Yeah, I did on the Citadel, so no Ember there. But certainly sound like an Ember. I'll be honest about that. He's, geez, that guy's really aggressive on the side lanes. Mitch is still fooling around over there, I guess. Let's go out on the Crusaders. We might go for hero, but that's fine. Eight five. The gun just will not be the best hero to defend yourself, but he might just be a fine answer to all of those pesky cloud serpents. You should be able to survive that. Let's get this at level 6 and then we might be stopping it. Get the tier 3, cast the bell, get resurrection, well, animate, animate that and the uh, infused stones. Yeah, I agree, Melbu. I definitely agree. We're gonna need 1050 gold to defend the left side. Might be going tier 4 if he wants to send a hero together with a Tito Barracks. He went tier 3, that's perfect. Crusader tier 4 mid lane, <laughs> dear dear. Yeah, we could go for a Rage 5 mid lane, but it would be risky. Should be able to get a counter stack in. So to my main, probably top because I think yeah, she's top. Because I don't think it was ten minutes ago before she was summoned here. Certainly, fat wing. Get some devour. Yeah, devour magic. Would be great for him. <coughs> you would love that. You would love that indeed. Let's see if Petwing will be joining middle lane. Let's see if he's gonna be playing greedy or whether he wants to apply pressure to one of his enemies. I think it's the latter. So I want the hero here. I want the hero there. We could be going to suck middle lane if we want to. Got a strong special unit. Greedy there. Because we're just generally fine against Naga in the Crusade play game. We do not have to be like the Dark Lord, where we have to play aggressive against them. They'll be coming nearly simultaneously on both waves, spawning at really bad time. So, definitely was something against the Naga. Sadly, Tigons will be using the bad swarm. A real... Yeah, you know what? I'd rather not take the risk. Rage Pie will probably burst down in the few seconds we got here. So let's go crazy on the left side. Hopefully Rage Pie is not gonna be losing it. We've got strong tier 3 barracks against a tier 4 silly guy. We'll agree, Kazak middle lane. <coughs> I'm not fully decided upon it yet. Take on middle, could be fun. Yeah. <coughs> Let's go take on wrist. Let's just keep Kazak in our base a little bit longer. Let's get the tier 3 magic. I feel like Rage Spy should be good, even though he's not gonna have East time. The guns can hopefully control the lane here for us. The gentleman lane. I'm not certain whether that was intended. Another fat wing. 
Let's probably on the other side then. Let those guys invest a lot into their ultimate weapons and special units. The power magic, sure. <coughs> the just please do not go too deep. Get all power upgrades to level 1. You yeah, certainly want the fell skin. Fell change is okay. You have full echo. Do probably hear that useless abilities that I could say. <laughs> we'll probably enjoy that. Not that we will deal critical damage. <laughs> but we just had to do it. She didn't have time of any nonsense. Oh no, that's shame, that's shame. <coughs> hey, my people leave, man. Could have been a disconnect as well. <coughs> but probably Doom didn't work out. And he might have left angry because of it. I could be wrong, I could be wrong. But it's suspicious. He can smite, but not yet. Because it's too low mana. And he's struggling so much, man. Can we accidentally destroy this? That would be insane. I would not expect the Nag to struggle as much as they do. I think we will just barely survive it. Bridget looking a little bit too healthy to me. Fell chains, sure, every top upgrade on level 1. Let's get out the weapon, people say. Oh, look at that barracks self. Since you got two heroes, might be worth to actually get Kazak on them. I was considering Kazak here. The Rage Pie might just be better. Rage Pie should be able to hold and then we can Kazak the other side. If it was just a single hero, I probably would have gone Kazak to the Crusader. Queen. Kneel before your queen. Yeah, right. I don't see that happening. Little Shara. Who fun to see a pop up here? Yeah, using the pass. Not exactly surprising there. Like by struggling a little bit. Poor guy. That Gondry is looking to be a little bit too deep over there. Our town is under the will not survive forever, but neither will take Gondrius with the way that fight is going. Yeah, I don't want the hero there. But well, we can go crazy and get the full barracks on top of it. Rug guy completely not happening yet. Okay. That's fine. Goodbye little snakes. Nice seeing you in the base. Four heroes summoned, uh, seven summoned, six slain. We're still alive, hopefully a few more heroes slain there. Does need to be a little bit lucky there. <coughs> Let's get the ultimate weapon up. I don't even think we need to for to break his barracks. He got his share up. He can go for the gentles to us there. If he dies here, he suddenly dies. You know what? Let's just go to I don't care. Let's just kill him. 
Otherwise, the fuse are gonna be mad. <laughs> Don't be nice, they said. Don't be nice. Let's go for another shadow step. Fear Aura, sure. Let's instill some fear upon our lovely enemies. It's gonna be feeling the pain. He's in good shape. Good fair man. I'm happy for the award. He's playing well, man. He's playing quite well. Could be great if we could meet smite him. But that's not how it's gonna be happening. Time to break the Bulgakov. Oh, he died. <coughs> yeah, feed me. Hey, that fat wing. Oh, look at that. Fuck what's getting old by the AI. I love this game. Off we go then. AI yeah, is our biggest enemy. <laughs> oh boy, look at Gazak. Casually beating up some snakes. Man, man, man. Just go nuke. <laughs> oh, you guys are horrible and I love it. Oh, we need a hero here. It's not gonna be Tagandris though. It's not gonna be Tagandris. Because I'm having plenty of fun here. That thing's gonna be strong. I was destined to rule. Destined to rule! <laughs> Does it look, look too good for him? <coughs> Does it now? Let's stay for him. Should be okay. I can still have fun. Because <coughs> I is gonna meet his makers here. And he did well against all of the Naga forces. we are responsible for five hero deaths. And slightly hurt Ashera. Oh yeah, we shouldn't forget that we still need to over there. Or do we? I don't think we do. I think we're good, man. Take a rush. Uh, I mean, don't rant. They got still be funny. Fight each other. We'll need the top. We potentially could. Let's see what. That thing's gonna have fun. Oh no! Level 8 also allows us to look our enemies good. Let's go for it. Let's go for Globe Nook. Gotta at least respect Red for not leaving this game. Fighting and biting through the pain that's given to him. I like that attitude. I like how the AI actually defeated the blue player over there. Pritzini was leading. He really messed up somewhere along the way. Should I go? Sure. Oh boy, look at that. How the hell did Lady Fush somehow go from top barracks to the bottom? Well, we're not even we're attacking the Naga. That's just silly. That's just entirely crazy. Gotta blame Naga. Gotta blame Naga. And hey, the lovely Empress. I hope you guys loved our last shorts. <laughs> Oh no, he's using a military pass. No, oh, well, that's fine. How does the aggro even work? Well, you just simply redirect the enemy army by hitting the enemy hero or 
or ancient with the building you want the arm to be retracted to. But that hero going from top to bottom just simply didn't make any sense. Well, what do you guys want to see after this battle? In Menoroth's name. Fire in <laughs> I love that ultimate weapon, man. I love that ultimate weapon. More battles. <clears throat> I don't know if we can play a full battle though. And survive chaos of this. We could always give it a try. Um, yeah, she probably wants to die. Oh no, he wants to die. Be slightly over aggressive. That's fine. That ultimate weapon is pure love. <laughs> oh boy, boy, boy. I knew you guys would be laughing, the demons. Oh no, it's Amber. Well, <clears throat> Dark God is gonna fall soon. We might be having a little bit of pain over there. But it's fine. It's fine. It's just a Crusader. They just play toys for the demons anyway. How many hero kills did we get? 14. Slightly leading that. Just slightly. Kind of a struggle a little bit, but he will lose reinforcements to defend the middle. He was still alive somehow. Let's. Uh, guys, I want a little bit more feedback. What do you want to see in the next video? What are you guys willing to see? Whoa, did we get it though? I'm really used to the alt alerts where they actually show up in my mini feed. Ooh, who was it? Who gave us some love there? I heard something talk, but I didn't really hear it that well. I was a little bit too focused on the game. <laughs> fan number one. Definitely, definitely the fan number one. What did the message say? I just saw Amber and I got a little bit hot at it. Just one FPS. Oh no. Guys, come Ecology on. That's horrible. Show some love to the laptop. It, it, it has given so much entertainment to a lot of people. And hey, look at this man, he's still alright. Oh, it's Maggie. Yeah, thank you, Edwusel. <laughs> and we just generally a little bit uh, more evil to the enemies. Our FPS shouldn't struggle too much, right? I'll send you some FPS. <laughs> oh god. Let's go. Can we actually kill him? I don't think so. <clears throat> Although the Crusades will probably destroy this. Or one day. They could be go for us. That AI could be having a massive retraction here. Oh no, 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 no. Definitely going there. I like it. We're good at them. We're good at them. What's like? Uh, <laughs> the FPS is still okay in this game. It's still okay. Could have been worse, guys. Oh, uh, Fatwing is on the mission. He will not have Ember to defend himself. It's not easy, guys. It's not easy. An 
Yeah, I think our uh, AI is dead. We did nuke already once, we did even nuke ourselves. But we will need at least 400 mana to get the magic rune up. That was Ember done. He's gonna be super annoying, but on the good note, we can push through that middle lane. <coughs> Destroy the Dark Horde there, keep Tycho in our defense, even though he's the worst hero to defend yourselves. Oh fine. Unless Fatwing decides to show up here. You know what? <coughs> You'll live once. More gold is required. More gold is required. It's gonna be dead. More gold is required. Should be look good at total gold now. Research complete. Especially the heroes making a big difference for us Research today. Complete. Yeah, it's risky. But it's fine. It's fine. Just some filthy little dark ones. <coughs> Cause I will be destroying them for good. Yeah, we we're doing that exactly right now. It's not gonna be a base race. This, this time we will not even have a chance of destroying one of my buildings. And to prove it, we will not even use a rain of fell. What would be annoying though is not having the reinforcements say that we need. We're not delusional, man. Even though we're not gonna get too many reinforcements. We're gonna be killing him hard. Gonna be killing this guy hard. Like I said, I'm not even gonna be using a Tito spell because I want to prove those dragons are easily slain. Oh, we shouldn't be hitting a hero with the barracks though, man. Oh no! Spinning, twinning. At least Spetwing buying him time, I like that. I like that. Gives us more fun defending this way. No, 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 no. <coughs> Easy, please. Easy, please. Ah. <sighs> That was difficult. <laughs> oh, sticks, be nice, man. Be nice. Oh, no! He's gonna die to the explosion. Oh! Poor guy. Uh oh, we cannot send anything in the middle to crazy daddy fat wing, but he's dead because he cannot send the hero there, and I don't think he can send the hero there either. So, yeah. That was fun, let's just get a casual in the magic room. <sighs> My man, we actually got some love on that boost room. I never know who my number one fan is right now. <laughs> lovely, lovely stuff. <laughs> oh, sticks, come on. <coughs> Let me be happy. Make you little demon. Off I go then. Off I go then. I think that he probably thinks that we're gonna be winning it. <laughs> I'm not dying. <laughs> oh dear lord. What's the thing on my face? Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea. Probably not a sandwich. I want to use this.
boy, boy, boy. Yeah, definitely has been an Insta game. Yeah, you guys can say what you want, but I'm really happy with our uh, solid performance here. Never been in real trouble. And that's what we all want to see. Now look at that statistics. It's beautiful! Beautiful day 24 hero summons. <laughs> oh, sweeper, dear lord. <clears throat> dear lord, dear lord. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, maybe we can do another 5 case game. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe.